Hey, it's time for the lockdown look up. Today I'm in our official studio because the weather's all nasty outside to bring you the next in our installment through the fruit of the spirit. Today I am talking about goodness. What does it mean to be good? We use the word all the time. We go, hey, this cup of coffee is good. How are you doing? I'm good. Generally, we use good to describe something that is pleasant. But the word goodness goes far deeper than that. Goodness means something functioning in accordance with its purpose. So if I had to refer to my car as a good car, I'm not referring to fancy leather seats or sound system. I'm referring to the fact that it is faithful and reliable. It's functioning according to its purpose. That's why in Genesis chapter 1, when we read of the creation of the world, we see that God referred to it as good. In other words, he believed that it would function in accordance with the purpose for which he designed it. And when he made human beings and called them very good, he was not referring to just how splendid we look. He was referring to the fact that these human beings would achieve amazing things in accordance with the amazing purpose that he had designed for them. So if you think about goodness like that, generally when you think about it, goodness or person being good we won't think of them as being pleasant but in this idea we might think well a good person is someone who does not do bad things sure partly i mean part of the function which we were created for was to not do these bad things that's how god created us but it just goes far deeper than that it's far more than that a person who exhibits goodness is not just a person who does not do bad things. It is a person who is functioning according to how they were designed, to the purpose for which they were created for. This is the idea in that very important verse in Ephesians chapter 4. It says this, I therefore, prisoner for the Lord, urge you to walk in a manner worthy of the calling to which you have been called, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, notice fruits of the Spirit, bearing with one another in love, eager to maintain the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. I think that opening line is so important for us as Christians, and it describes goodness. Walk in a manner worthy of the calling to which you have been called. That's goodness functioning according to the purpose and that word worthy is such a picturesque word it's really the picture of a scale not a kitchen scale not a bathroom scale that old school scale that if you went to an old grocery store where the grocer would take your pumpkin put it on one side of the scale and then place weights on the other side and when the two sides of the scale balanced out then you would know how much your pumpkin weighed that's the picture behind the word worthy, balancing out. The idea is that you must walk in a manner, live your life in a way that it balances out the weight of the calling you've received. And as Christians, that weight is the righteousness that has been given to us. Jesus' righteousness credited to us as an act of grace through faith in Him. We know as Christians that from the moment we believe in Jesus, there is this weight of righteousness credited to us. The idea behind Ephesians 4, the idea of goodness, is now we start to balance that out. Now we start to actively live out the righteousness that has been credited to us. So that's far deeper than somebody just not doing bad things. I think this is sometimes where Christians maybe get a little bit muddled when it comes to grace and righteousness and living out righteousness. See, sometimes we think that, well, we know that through grace we've received this righteousness. And then sometimes we stop there and go, well, I'm just, I'm just going to stay there because if I had to work to try and be righteous, then that would go against grace which would go against our understanding of goodness, of actively trying to live out this righteousness that we have received. And Dallas Willard has been really helpful to me here. He said something really important. He said, grace is not opposed to effort. 
Grace is opposed to earning. What he means is that it's not contradictory to grace for us to strive for righteousness in our lives when it is the motivation is to balance out the righteousness we've already received. What would oppose grace is trying to be righteous in order to earn God's favor, earn his acceptance, earn his approval. You don't have to earn it. You already have it. What goodness is and this idea of walking in a manner worthy refers to is now may your life slowly perhaps start to catch up or balance out the righteousness you've already received by grace. May the grace of Jesus Christ and may the Holy Spirit in us enable all of us to consistently look more like the righteous ones that he has created us to be, that he died to create. See you tomorrow.